Lieutenant Colonel Sheldon Kelly of the Idaho State Police, as well as Director Josh T. Walt of the Idaho Department of Correction. Also present here with me is Ada County Sheriff Matt Clifford. This is but a small representation of the number of different agencies that have assisted in this investigation to this point, and we are grateful for their help. I want to begin today by announcing that right around 2 p.m. this afternoon, following a lengthy investigation, the two suspects who we have been seeking were located in Twin Falls, in the Twin Falls area. There was a short vehicle pursuit, and both suspects were taken into custody separately. There were no shots fired or extensive use of force in this operation, for which we are thankful. Obviously, that just occurred within less than an hour, and so we do not have a lot of details about the arrest right now, but we do have some more information to share with you, and we will be gathering those details and providing them as soon as we possibly can. And we, uh, once again, want to make known Skylar Mead and Nicholas Umfenauer are in custody. Would like to turn the time now over to Lieutenant Colonel Sheldon Kelly of the Idaho State Police because this investigation has grown immensely over the last 24 to 36 hours and has involved a number of different uh, entities and crimes across the state of Idaho and so uh, to speak to some of those and answer uh, questions as well Lieutenant Colonel Kelly. Thank you Chief. Uh, again my name is Sheldon Kelly uh, I'm a Lieutenant Colonel with the Idaho State Police. I'm Chief of Operations. Uh, first off, I want to thank all the law enforcement agencies across Idaho that have assisted with this. Uh, I know it's the Idaho way, but uh, there was an immense collaboration and cooperation all across the state uh, to come to this conclusion. Uh, ever since this incident kicked off, we've had professionals working tirelessly on this issue. Uh, to get to the point where we are today. Uh, through the course of this investigation, uh, detectives located the Honda Accord that was used in the escape near Leland, Idaho. Additionally, law enforcement and investigating, we are investigating two homicides at separate locations in Nez Perce and Clearwater counties. These are potentially tied to this incident. Both homicides involve adult males, and detectives are actively investigating. No further information on the homicides is available at this time, and the county coroner will provide identity uh, as well as the official cause of death on those. Uh, like the chief said uh, at the end of this, if you have some questions, if I can't answer my will, it is an ongoing uh, investigation and to not taint that we're not going to be able to share everything and uh, now I'd like to uh, let the director of Idaho, Idaho Department of Corrections Josh Seawald uh, give an update on his folks. Thank you Colonel my name is Josh Seawald I'm the director for the Idaho Department of Correction uh, first uh, just nothing but appreciation for uh, the, the cooperative effort from federal, state, and local law enforcement throughout Idaho and even neighboring states for their cooperation uh, in helping to bring uh, these two suspects to justice. Uh, we were able to share the news moments ago with our two staff members who remain in the hospital, uh, and uh, it, it's uh, safe to say their spirits were lifted. Uh, we know, uh, to give you an update on their condition, uh, one of our, our officers was released from the hospital last evening. Uh, while two remain in the hospital, uh, they are, they're stable, improving, and uh, I think with today's news, uh, their spirits are lifted. Uh, just to provide a little bit of context on uh, the other suspect who we believe uh, helped Skylar Mead uh, escape and who uh, actively um, uh, attacked our staff yesterday morning, uh, Nicholas Umpenauer, uh, we'll be posting uh, a little bit more information uh, about his his criminal history and time with us at the Department of Correction to our website, and we'll share that uh, to State Police BPD uh, as well for them to distribute. Um, 
But once he was identified as a potential suspect yesterday, our investigators, along with cooperation from other law enforcement partners, uh, began trying to tie him with Skyler Meade. Um, in addition to having uh, both having membership with the Aryan Knights, um, they also shared uh, some acquaintances, some common acquaintances, both in custody uh, as well as in the community. Uh, uh, lastly, uh, they did have some housing overlap uh, on and off from December 29th, 2020. Uh, to when Mr. Umpenauer was released from our custody on January 17th of 2024, uh, that they were both housed uh, in at the Idaho Maximum Security Institution, and there there was frequent movement in between, but there were times within that time frame uh, where they shared, uh, uh, they were in the same housing unit at our facilities. Uh, with that, uh, just again, want to express our thanks and appreciation uh, for what was a, a very tough ordeal for the corrections family, um, but uh, thanking BPD and, and their response uh, well, now over 36 hours ago uh, to, to the ambush on our staff, but everybody uh, who's uh, offered assistance and put their shoulder into helping bring these two suspects to justice.